Robert Fuentes. I'm a unit supervisor at John Muir Health in Walnut Creek, California, sunny San Francisco area, uh, standard Pacific time. Um, I, I work for a magnet designated organization. Um, I have my ONC certification and my general medical surgical um, certification. I've been a, a nurse since 2008 at uh, John Muir Health. It's been uh, it's an amazing place to work. Uh, it's a community-based hospital, nonprofit, so they do a lot with the community. In relation to the three questions, how I integrate health promotion in my current life, first and foremost, I think the most important thing is uh, maintaining healthy relationships, not only with my wife, but also with my children, my family, my friends, and my coworkers. I, I always think of that mantra, um, happy wife, happy life, definitely true. Um, also, but that uh, plays with your regular life as well, with your friends, if you have happy friends, if you have happy coworkers, it just makes your life in general easier. When life is easier, I think that definitely promotes a healthy, healthy lifestyle. Um, also, work-life balance. I think it's really important that uh, we we actually work life school balance, um, uh, continue working and developing that balance so that it creates healthy atmosphere and, and really balancing uh, where my time is spent and not spent and how that also develops and promotes a healthy lifestyle and health promotion. Uh, lastly, preventative care for both myself and my family. I think um, in, in, in any healthy lifestyle or creating a healthy balance uh, preventative care is mostly the easiest way to do that, making sure that you're getting your immunizations, your flu shots, um, following up on those uh, those things that maybe you wouldn't before. So I think uh, primary care is definitely the way to do that and make sure you have a good relationship with your PCP so, so uh, when you have those difficult questions to ask, you're able to do it. Uh, why health promotion and risk reduction are important concepts of nursing leadership. In regards to that, as a nursing leader myself, I think one of the, the biggest things I work on is balancing work and life. So I think about when I'm creating schedules for my employees and my team, is that I have that same obligation to make sure that I'm balancing the needs of the department with the needs of my employees. Um, uh, if, if, if you're happy, if you're happy outside of your life, it's easy to bring those outcomes back to work and then bring those for patients. So I definitely want to speak to re the health promotion in regards to providing a work-life balance for my fellow team members. In regards to improving health promotion um, in the workplace, I can think of one thing our organization does is for our diets, our menu, our nutritional needs for our patients. We provide a uh, carb, carb intake on all of our menus. Um, for the entrees and both side servings. I think in America with our, our oversized servings at restaurants and dining areas, it's not very often that we realize what an actual serving size is, but in a controlled hospital environment, it's very easy to see, um, uh, it's very easy to see what the carb intake actually is. Um, and then the last is uh, our pre-surgery courses that we offer for our elective patients. Uh, we promote exercises both before surgery and after surgery to help improve outcomes. So I think that's one, one area of health promotion. Uh, rather than that, uh, have a great day and I'll see you guys in, in class online.